Today's video is being sponsored by ProGuide. If you haven't heard about ProGuide, they are the easiest way to master League of Legends quickly and effectively. They are backed by some of the biggest pros and they have detailed courses for any concept you are struggling with. If you have any questions after watching a video, you can use Genius where a master or challenger player will immediately answer any questions you have. Overall, ProGuide is a great way to hit your dream rank and I think it's an awesome way to save time, learn quickly and it really pays pace for itself. Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So I have been climbing in challenger tier in the last two years and while I was doing the climb I only played Riven. Whenever I got out of field in the mid lane I always played Twisted Fate and this is what the video is going to be about today. So before we go into all the things that I have learned about Twisted Fate let's get into the runes and all of that first. As for the runes you always want to go into the sorcery and take Arcane Comet. This will be the standard rune that you will go for in almost every single game. If you play against a very hard AP matchup, you might want to consider swapping the mana flow rune to the nullifying orb. This will help you get through the laning phase a lot easier. As for the secondary, you want to go into the inspiration tree and take all of this. This will allow you to pressure a lot easier in the early game. As for the summoner spells, you always want to run ignite and flash. If you are playing against champions like Zed or Yasuo, you might want to consider swapping ignite with exhaust instead. As for the skill order, you typically always want to go for the exact same skill order path for every single game that you play. You always want to max your Q first into maxing W and then max E afterwards. As for the starter items, I always start with boots and four health potions. This is very good if you are playing a matchup that requires a lot of dodging. However, if you are playing against a hard matchup, you could start with Dorn Ring instead. If you play the lane correct and you got most of the CS, you should be able to have enough gold to upgrade your boots and get the sheen. As for the full item builds, you've got two options. You can either go for the full risky build. This will allow you to get the damage and the cooldown reduction much faster but a lot less tanky. Or you could go for the most standard twist fade build this is by far the best build for tf right now this build allows you to have more sustain in the early game and have more survivability you will also be able to scale a lot better into the mid late game for the risky full build you will most likely build this when you are playing against a team comp without a real engage however if the enemy has an assassin or has a lot of engage you should always go for the scaling item build instead so now that we have covered the runes the items and all of the other stuff the next thing I will cover is the Twisted Fate early game. So in the early game, before level 6, you want to focus mainly on maximizing your CS. CS is very important. Twisted Fate generates gold with his passive, so even if you don't look into kills, you still get ahead of the enemy laner. After level 6, don't focus on killing, but look into warding the entire area and then pressure your lane. If your ultimate is up and you shove or pressure the lane, this will allow you to look for kills or look for objectives. Even if you cannot use your ultimate anywhere, this will still scare off the enemy top lane and the bot lane to do something at all. So even if the only thing that you do is pressuring the lane, you're still technically winning a lot from doing this. As for team fighting, try looking into throwing red cards if you can hit multiple targets. If you cannot hit multiple targets with a red card, you can also position yourself safely and then kite with a gold card and do as much damage as possible. The last thing that you can also do is you can actually try to assassinate somebody from behind with your ultimate. Make sure you always have Zonias for doing this though. Now something else that I want to mention is if you can get the chance to pick off somebody around the map, go for it. This is a very easy way to snowball with TF in the early game. If a TF starts rolling in the game and he starts snowballing very hard and has a lot of kills, it's going to be very scary for the enemy team to do anything at all. TF's ultimate is so easy to use to pick off people. This is one of the most scary things about Twisted Fate that makes it very unfun to play against. So now that we have covered about everything, here are a few things that I have learned from playing TF over a thousand times. My macro play has improved. Twisted Fate is a very easy champion to pick up and he doesn't really have any kind of fancy mechanics. This will allow you to learn the champion fast and get into learning the macro play of the game. Also, Twisted Fate needs a good macro 
striker play to do well and being able to carry. So if you are not able to carry very hard STF, the chances are that you might not have a very good macro play. In other words, you need to get a lot better at decision making. A lot of the people have asked me how to get better at decision making in general. The truth is, playtime does it all. Most of the pro players in League of Legends most likely have around 2000 rank games and perhaps even more. In all of those games being played, there has been so many games where they make the wrong decision in a lot of games and that may even have cost their game. Because of their wrong decision making and many more mistakes, they improve. If you lose a game because you got outplayed, you are the reason why you lost that specific game. This all comes down to decision making and only by playtime and losing many games, you will improve and get better. Anyway, my next thing that I have learned is TF can be picked in any team com that you are playing with. You can literally pick this champion in any team com that you play. Twisted Fate excels just about everything. You can pressure very hard, you can roam or go for objectives, you can even set up the lane for ganks with your CC and there are so much more that you can do. If you are looking into a champion to one trick then TF is definitely a champion you could lock in and play. The next thing that I have learned after so many games is that Twisted Fate skins actually bring an advantage to the game. So I own almost every skin for Twisted Fate and so far some of the skins definitely bring an advantage to the game. A lot of the people have been complaining that they cannot see the wild cards when they are thrown. Specifically talking about the Pulsefire TF skin and a few others, they are really hard to see. I have played enough TF games to admit that my win rate has increased when I play with those skins. So basically this advantage has nothing to do with the numbers, but instead it's just really hard to see the wild card for some of the people. Especially for the people that have their settings in League of Legends on very low, the difference is really big. The next thing I want to talk about is, Twisted Fate works in every single stage of the game. So what I mean with this is Twisted Fate is being able to carry the game no matter what time. In the early game you are able to roam around and get objectives for free. You're able to help your teammates get back into the game or even get them ahead. As soon as you get into the mid game and your laning phase is over, you will be able to split push. And even if you drag the game all the way to the late game, you will still be very useful in the late game because you can one shot so easily. Most of the champions in the game peak their strength at some point and after that they will get worse. However, in this case of Twisted Fate, no matter what stage you are in, you will always be useful. Anyway, outside of all the things that I have learned from playing TF so many times, there's one more thing that I want to say. TF is so much fun to play even after so many games. As for myself, somebody that is a Riven main and doesn't really care much about any other champion that I play, TF is a really fun champion to play and I have never got bored from playing this champion. This might be different for a lot of other people, but as for myself, it's very difficult to find a champion that I truly love playing. I have been a Riven main for 6 years now and I have never managed to find a champion that I truly love and I truly feel like playing over and over again. The only champion that gave me this feeling is Twisted Fade. I have took this champion over the course of the many years and I have never quit him before. So now I got a few questions for you guys. What do you think about Twisted Fate and do you hate or like playing against him? I'm very interested because when I play against Twisted Fate myself, I always need to adjust my playstyle to the game because TF can literally be everywhere. Let me know what you guys think. You can do so in the comments down below guys. Anyways, enough talking about TF guys, I have one announcement to make. I have started streaming again so if you want to see high elo gameplays about Riven or Twisted Fate you can come down to my Twitch channel guys. If you got any questions and you want to ask them live on stream you can do so. The link will be in the description below. Anyways guys with this all being said thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you got any questions you can ask them down in the comments right below. Once again don't forget to follow me on my stream and if you are looking for a fun and friendly discord channel full of Riven mains, you can join my Discord channel. Once again, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video, man. Peace.